So the kiln's going to be commissioned in the next few weeks and the biomass boiler is due to arrive with us from Austria in the new year, I believe. Um, and that's going to take a couple of weeks to get that commission. We're building the facility at the moment, which is a large plant room at the back and then a large wood chip bin at the front. Well, the new timber drying capacity is about 60 cubic meters, which in the grand scheme of things isn't an enormous kiln, but for us, it's a really, really big investment and a big adventure, if you like. Um, what it's going to allow us to do is to take um, that volume material on anywhere between five and 10 day cycle time. So I guess with the time, you know, you might choose to mill up additional material and then backload it. It could be something like every every 12 days or so, a couple of times a month, we'd be able to have 60 cubic meters going through that kiln. I think as I sort of shared before, the value of timber is really um, making sure you've got the right material for the right kind of use case. And, you know, bringing in timber from the forest will have a variety of moisture contents. Some material can be up to 130, 140% moisture content, which, you know, limits its use cases. Something like exterior cladding, you'd really want that down to about 20% before you put it on a building, just so it doesn't move as much. Um, so taking that material, running it through the drying process and getting those target moisture contents is what this new piece of kit will allow us to do sort of high-end computer controlled mechanisms that allow us to dry the materials as uh, appropriate as possible. But we've been doing high-end flooring which might need a 6 to 8 percent moisture content or you know a staircase at 10. Um, we've talked about exterior cladding at about 20. Some of the larger section posts and beams we wouldn't even dare try and dry those in the kiln they're just too big to actually do that. They have to dry naturally inside them the environment in which they're put but um, it will certainly allow us to compete a bit more favorably with um, you know bigger contracts with bigger customers um, whereas before we're quite limited with the with the kilning capacity that we currently have.